Hey guys, and welcome to Space Engineers. In fact, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, had to be done. Okay, I had a little idea for a build. It's a bit of a modular build. I know a lot of people have done them. Um, I'm document it just for the sake of documenting it, no particular reason. Um, so, I know kind of what I want to do. Let's get rid of that spotlight. I needed it to make it so I could actually see me. In fact, we will leave the spotlight there. He says deleting part of the freaking post. Um, it's been a little while since... Look what I did. I am an idiot. Uh, shoot. This could be interesting to fix. Because in a different game I've been playing seven days. Why are my dampeners off? There we go. Stupid game. Okay, well, first things first, we're going to create a forklift. Uh, got this idea from XP Gamers. And although I'm not going to use his exactly, it's going to hold some similarities. So, landing here. I'm going to use the standard ones for this. I've got a few mods installed. If I remember, there will be a mod list on the video. If I don't, then I apologize and shout at me and I'll do it next time. Switch to that. Again. Auto swapping, you stupid game. We'll have a normal block and then another one of these because eventually there'll be a second landing gear on it. You know what? Probably actually be better building this in the rotation I want it, which is like that. And we can put our second landing gear on. Hmm. There's my thrusters. Let's just go with the standard ones for now because I haven't played around with these in forever. Uh, we've already got iron thrusters on there. In fact, I will play around with one of those. Now, I kind of want a flat thruster. Why are they all large? I want small. Uh, have that one. If I take out those bits.
and then put that in there. Leave that off for now, I'll put that other landing gear back on. Well, I think I might move them down. Uh, leave them there. I do have an idea what I'm doing, honest. Uh, okay, so if we go back to this. We'll stick with that and we'll just pop that there I should really mirror, mirror this shouldn't I It'd look about the same way around As near as makes no never mind. And what we should have done is let's take those landing gear off completely for a minute. Now I think a reactor. Because we want a reactor. Uh, this is mini reactor. I'm not sure what that is. But we'll chuck that down there. A small reactor. We'll have a look at what I've got. I might even use one of the Asimov ones. Yeah, I may well do that actually. Let's see what's on this tiny reactor. There's no real difference between that and the original one by the looks of it. Hmm. No, uh, you idiot kitty. We will use these. So it has to be reloaded by hand, who cares? We'll take that one off now just leave a spacer block there we'll put the landing gear back on and we will lower these down now just in case I want to change that block in fact we're going to put the remote block there the right way around. Yep. Beep beep. Now we want a seat of some kind. Now do we want one of the Asimov seats or the original one? Let's have a look. The original one's going to need three spaces, and the Azimuth one could be done in one space. If I was to put it there, I don't really want it there though, I want it down just a little bit. 
So we'll get the conveyor stuff in first. Pop. They'll be taking the fusters off a hopper. Is that thruster again? It was that one, was it? Put that there. Then we want a connector. You know what? Let's just switch. Hot bars. Connector. Do it one down. What we'll do is we will get a conveyor corner. Shh, you didn't see that. Another connector here. I could actually do this with a proper control system, but I really want to do it this way. No, that's the standard seat. The Asimov one. So we want to... Mm. Back by one. Need some gyros. So we have two going forward, one either side. I'm going to need the two going backwards, don't we? Need to remember how to turn off this flipping auto rotate nonsense. A couple of extra sidey way ones. Do new ones. I think that's everything it needs. Not got enough power. Oh, it's because I'm not remote controlling it. That would help. It does look kind of cool. If I go to here, it's not going to give me that. So, needs an antenna, doesn't it? Can I do it straight from here? Control. And now we'll merge this back together because that's why we've just done our forklift. Mm 
Any luck these are on auto lock still? Yes they are. I quite like my little forklift. I'll do that, I may just put a couple of bars across there. Little bit of finagling. But yeah, she looks good. Just needs a little bit more power. Preferably connected to the connectors. Maybe some batteries. I should have some small batteries. In battery one by one. Three by one by three. Uh, azimuth battery, range torpedo battery. I think we'll go with the one by one because it doesn't need much. We'll just pop the, that there. Back. To, forget there. Forget that noise. It can be popped here. Another one here. And then we'll do a small reactor up here. And we'll just do the standard reactor, I think. There. And the lantern. only want the normal antenna but we're gonna have a look at the azimuth one see whether it looks any see what it looks like there's the azimuth small one that may actually work out better for this ship especially if I can get it somewhere nice I were to put it there, for example. In fact, what do you guys think? Yeah, let's put it there. Right. Merge blocks. Uh, we'll just go with the standard merge block for now. That time it was actually on purpose. Hopefully this will work. Let me get rid of that spotlight. Right, let's put this up on a block group so it's up the top. Rusters all in a group.
Uh, we'll bring this up to about a thousand meters ish. And there's a way to do that. There it is. Okay, we'll rename the connectors. We need to rename those. Take off auto lock. can be hidden on the terminal. Yeah, we'll just leave those like that for now. Actually, still need to remote control, which was the whole point of doing that. At least you can rotate your view whilst in remote now. There we go. That worked. Uh, P to disengage the landing gear. now because we're going to change that on here right uh, groups landing gear switch lock and toggle block on and off thrusters toggle block on and off All blocks with connect to one, switch lock with connect to two, switch lock. Okay, so now we should be able to just fly this over and park it somewhere. There we go. Oh, didn't turn the engines off, but that's fine. That's our first little utility craft for the build. Basically, what I'm thinking is a big mothership, obviously. But within it, instead of the cargo pods being part of the ship, they're all going to be detachable. Um, there's going to be a docked and detachable drill ship, a docked and detachable welder, grinder. We've got the nanobot mods, so we don't really need the welder and the grinder, but we will have them. There's also going to be a docked and detachable landing ship with its rover inside it. So we're gonna need the little forklift just to move the cargo pods around. Because I'm gonna go over to a survival game. So this is just the design phase. I will keep the blueprints. Um, I'm gonna go over to a survival game in the exploration mod. And that's gonna be the basis of what we're gonna do, basically. Uh, we'll find ourselves an asteroid, 
set up camp in survival and see where we go from there but that this ship once I've built it will be my basis for running around and going to planets and this that and the other um, so I will be right back I just need to pause for a second and okay welcome back we were uh, gonna start on one of the cargo pods I think we'll start with a large cube oh, that'd be annoying keeps changing let's see that way like that now I want a bit of space in between so we'll put a one of those in another one of those That would be annoying. My own fault. That. I'll put it there for now. I'll just have the small conveyor. in there ah drats that one I've got wrong oh it's not locked This landing gear. Can I regrouped? Oh. And that tells me I've cocked up again. Actually, have I? Yes, I have. that See, if it wouldn't keep rotating randomly I wouldn't have these problems there we go that's better yeah hopefully copy 
copy from here. Should be able. Do that right. That's our basic pod in the middle here, if we can. We maybe should have done this before putting the two pods together. It's going to have a gyro and a few other things. A remote control block. I want a small reactor. Gyro. Normal thrusters this time. Is the small reactor so goes in there? We'll call that forwards. And the gyro. Problem with this is I have that in the wrong place. What we want to do there is thrusters well, therein lies a slight problem doing a unmirrored mode but I feel like being awkward. A set of thrusters on there. If we bring this down to here, it matches up with the other side. Don't be a douche. Game. What we will do is we will also add some Atmos thrusters. A 
because you never know when you're going to want to send stuff to the surface. One there. One there. Perhaps if I put one there as well. There. One there. We want to copy from the top. Flip it over. Why am I seeing outside edge ones there? Does that mean I've got closed ones the wrong way around? It does. That's easily fixed. Get it plunked in place first, then I'll fix that. Get in there and delete out one of the remotes. Sake of simplicity, this mean I need to place one of these again. No, wrong button. We don't really need downwards thrust for the atmospheric, but we will put one in. Right in the center there if we can. Make life 
Vasio. And I've just thrown the gyro off. Okay, it's fixable. We've still got one there after all. Do this. These little ones, I'm curious about these. If that answers that question, so what we'll do is we'll put a in now put those in now we should then be at the right level to do this we hit the right fucking buttons we would be at the right level to do this to attach to there. Rat it. Right, well the landing gears are going a bit higher then. We've got a battery inside here somehow. we give for some visibility. We take that out. We have enough space for a standard battery. Slightly too big. We'll have to go with one of the other ones. We yeah, may as well have two. But a symmetry never hurt anyone. CP for cargo, uh, C pod, there we are. C pod. Atmos. Save. 
few more reactors than I thought I was putting in. The odd reactors. This may be the most overpowered thing I've ever built. For what it is. Uh, now we'll leave them on the inventory screen. Leave them on there for now because I need to rename them. Small pod Total, I think. Five. Six. Now we hide them. Inventory screen at the terminal. Didn't put an antenna in it. That's not what I meant to do. a little bit uh, idea let's get an antenna on here somewhere we'll put it on top somewhere I think may as well use the Asimov for one because it's mania that will just 
that block out and put that there. Now we should actually be able to fly this thing. So we will all next that bit and we'll just bring it out into space somewhere so we've got a backup. Those landing gear look a little bit weird. Have I got them upside down? Or is it just because I'm pasting? It's just because I'm pasting, okay. Now can we go to... This one, no, that's the forklift. I need to rename these grids. Pod remote. Uh, Just check actually that the landing gear isn't set to auto lock. There we go. toggle block on off and we leave the batteries we don't touch those so four and five off locked and if we press two logically okay that's good to know These are retractable landing gear, yeah, they'll suck up into the inside inside a little bit. So we want some connectors on the top here. We'll put all four on because four's better than one and it'll help line it up when docking, apparently. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's seven. No, you silly kitty. Ah, oh, damn it. sure that's actually in place correctly appears to be okay so reasonably logically this should now be able to be dropped from space onto a planet as is. It could also be moved around with the forklift over there. But you don't 
have to rely on remote controlling it. So it's got multiple functions. Whilst it's off, it's off. And when it's being dropped, it's all on. And we just leave it to its own devices. Aim it for where we want to drop it. We don't have a planet handy at the moment. So kind of aim it for there and send it on its way. Well, we did have a spare. Well, the best way to send it on its way would be to turn the iron thrusters off, turn the atmosphere on, I just let it do its own thing until it's within range of a base. But we'll pretty fly it a little bit. in the right place as I was saying we'll pretty fly it a little bit to be honest I kind of actually like the look of it all exposed but we'll fill up some of the gap I don't know why I like it like that. So what we're really doing here is making it look a little bit more like parts are attached to other parts, which is fine. Kind of the way I like it. Mm. Why are those thrusters sticking out so much? Yeah, that's what's confused me. Those should be further in. Top ones are okay. That bottom one is rather. The top one's okay, it's just these two Atmos. Yeah, that looks better. The sight myself. Hopefully I didn't delete anything important just now. There we go. on mirrored mode.
There we are, and we'll just fill in the top here because that does need filled in. Oh, damn it! Why can't games all use the same controls? Actually, with those ions pointing up there. Be careful, kitty. Let's put that there. Although it doesn't need to be, we'll just make it the same for all four sides. these corners on here normal block it where we can fine we want a couple of normal blocks here just to give us something to build off of I'll fill in all the gaps. But that kind of looks cool ish. We'll do once we paint it anyway. Actually, we're doing this anyway. Oh, 
appointments to give these some protection. So if we're going out to this area. Corner blocks in. Yes. A little neater. There we go. Exposed enough without being too exposed. Leave the underneath as is. And that's the cargo pod sorted. We can ditch that one now. Rename this so I can blueprint it. Put the SG in so I know it's a small grid. Might as well rename this whilst I remember. Was it, was it hydrogen or iron? No, it was iron. Yeah, swap out those landing gear for the nice new ones. Oh, a few different mods I can change the interior with. We can actually get through it a bit better. This is one I made for a survival series actually, and I made it on the survival. Um, well, I say a series, it was someone else's series, but this was my ship. Yeah, it's a nice little overpowered drill ship. Just slightly overpowered. But it might make a nice starting point right well anyway instead of thinking away to myself we've been why am i streaming all of a sudden no 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 but as i was saying We've been at this for about an hour now. We've got the cargo pod made up for our big drop ship when I get around to it. Big drop ship will be next. And we've got our little forklift done. That's what we should test, right? We will go in the forklift because we can remote control from it. Just before we go. Okay, forklift remote. Oh, and there we 
everything on again. Busters are on. Busters should have been off. Oh well. Unlock that. Because this is partly what the forklift idea was for. Lock that in place. And we want to remote control this. Remote its landing gears and unlock them and toggle them off. And a bit slow to move them around, but at the same time, I wouldn't expect it to be a super speedy vehicle. It's supposed to just putter around, move things into place, and spin things easy enough. And if I am short of power, once we've tucked it a little bit, uh, let's just change my view again. We can come up here. Need to adjust the power on those. If we do this, and then if we turn on the C pod ion, will I be able to? Ah, no, you can't control them that way anymore. What I might do is swap one of these connectors for a merge block for doing this with. Might be an idea. I'll have a think about that. But either way, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, comment either way, and make me feel really happy. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.